Hi, I'm Renee. I was diagnosed with cancer, cervical cancer, when I was 24. I ended up having a hysterectomy. When I was 49 and diagnosed with breast cancer, I had a double mastectomy. I'd like to thank my doctors who took care of me during this time. Dr. Chris Theodosis was my oncologist who gave me my treatments. Dr. Trahan and his staff at the Breast Reconstruction Center in New Orleans are very passionate about making women feel whole again. I'd like to thank my family and friends who helped me during this time. They took care of me, comforted me, and even fed me when I couldn't feed myself. So I'd like to thank um, all of them for being strong for me and helping me through the hardest time of my life. Without them, it would have been difficult and unimaginable to go through the process alone. I'd like to thank my husband who proposed to me when most men are statistically, you know, most men or if you're not in a relationship, they, they leave or husbands divorce their wives because they can't deal with this. Um, I'd like to thank Jack for proposing during this time. I'd like to thank my husband, Jack, who was courageous enough to face this cancer head on with me without any guarantees of our future. Without him, it, it would have been a lonely process. I'd like to thank Lisa for founding this organization to help bring women together, a sisterhood where we can lean on each other and heal after we face the battle of our life. So thank you, Lisa, for all you do, your unselfishness and bringing this together, the time you've put into this and helping all of us women overcome the hardships we have. And this is my story. Growing up mostly in New Orleans, my time was split between my mother and father after they divorced when I was about five years old. Being number seven of 11 kids, I got lost in the mix. I'd sometimes compare my life to the moms I would watch on TV after school. Leave it to Beaver seemed to have the perfect family and the perfect mom. I knew someday I'd fall in love, get married, and have kids of my own, and it'd be the perfect life. In my 20s, my dream life was silenced with a few cervical cancer scares in between the birth of my two children. By the time I was 24 years old, I was told I needed a hysterectomy. Soon after, I quickly shifted my focus back to building my family and my dream life with my husband, Brad. No one knew that I remained silently apprehensive for decades that my cancer would come back. I made it a ritual to have my gynecological exams every year during my birthday month in May. This birthday ritual helped save my life. 20 years flew by. I stayed active with my children, running my son Cody to the ballpark and my daughter Kristen to dance class. As a student at an all-girls Catholic school, my daughter Kristen became a big advocate for the Susan G. Komen Race for Breast Cancer Cure. I joined her every year raising awareness for breast cancer, not realizing then the impact it would have on my life. This charity became my daughter's passion so much that it became her platform during pageant competitions. During her reign as Miss Louisiana USA 2013, she helped host the Susan G. Komen race for the cure that year. Watching my daughter reach her goals was bittersweet. During Kristen's year-long reign, her father and my beloved husband Brad died suddenly of a heart attack at the age of 49. I learned what true strength was that year when I watched my daughter walk the nationally televised stage during the Miss USA pageant and represent her state of Louisiana on what had to be the hardest day of her life. The pageant fell on Father's Day that year, and her biggest fan, 
who had just passed away just a few months before, wasn't there to cheer her on. We were all completely heartbroken from the loss of our family rock. It took me some time to realize the quest for the perfect life is no dream at all. Yes, there are happy times, but there is also heartbreak and pain. As an empty nester, I had some time to figure out my future. Three years after the death of my beloved Brad, God answered my prayers and brought Jack into my life. In May of 2018, my fear of a cancer reoccurrence became a reality. Only this time, it was breast cancer. As soon as I heard the news, I thought of my friend Beverly, who I marched for, and she marched for me, and she was also a two-time breast cancer survivor. I remember her decision to have a single mastectomy, only to have the cancer come back with a vengeance two years later. Right there in my doctor's office, I decided to have a double mastectomy. My heart was broken at the thought of telling my kids I had breast cancer. I was 49 years old, the same age their father was when he passed away. I didn't want them to think I was going to die too. In the midst of all this chaos, Jack caught me completely off guard. I was always told you can judge a man's character by his actions. Jack's actions literally swept me off my feet. Just days in between my diagnosis and double mastectomy, Jack proposed. Jack became my knight in shining armor, and I knew with his love and support, I can do anything. We were married a few months later. Life is full of bittersweet moments. The day Kristen gave birth to our first grandson, Liam, Brad wasn't there to soothe his baby girl or meet his new grandbaby. Or when Cody held his daughter, Margaret. But God takes care of us in ways we can never imagine. God brought Jack into our lives. I'm grateful Jack was there when Liam was born and Margaret, who was born during the COVID quarantine. Jack is an amazing husband, a caring mentor to my children and myself and a loving grandfather to Liam and Margaret. All the pain I have endured is worth the love and joy I now have. And I thank God every day for my beautiful dream life.